we come from a warrior people, let's reassert that warrior spirit. Amen. This is video from inside one of the white supremacist groups making their ways to Middle Tennessee. The theme of these rallies this weekend in Murfreesboro and Shelbyville, White Lives Matter. So who are these protesters and what do they really want? News Channel 5's Phil Williams has been investigating. Phil, what'd you find? Well, the main group behind the protest calls itself the League of the South, and our investigation discovered it's a group that we've seen before. Jews will not replace us! Jews will not replace us! Jews will not replace us! This video from a Vice News documentary shows the alt-right groups that descended upon Charlottesville back in August. Among them, members of the League of the South, a white supremacist group founded by Michael Hill, a retired history professor who lives just across the Tennessee line in northern Alabama. <laughs> And when clashes broke out in the streets with anti-fascist protesters, this one involving Hill himself, League members saw it as a fulfillment of their leader's declaration of war. There is a war against you, white man and white woman, in the streets of our cities. At this League conference earlier this year, and on the group's Facebook page that has now been taken down, the League blames the nation's troubles on people of color. We've had this war going on now for two generations, and it started back with that accursed thing called the Civil Rights Movement. While the groups talk about protecting Southern heritage, what Hill really advocates is a return to what he considers the good old days. There was a time when the South was white man's land. Right. Yeah, that's exactly right. It, it wasn't just back there in 1860. It was in 1960. That's right. That's right. That's right. And you know what? If it's going to be what it ought to be for us Southern nationalists, in the future, and not just for us, but for our children and grandchildren. That's right. We're going to have to make it that again. That's right. We're going to have to make it that again. Among the group's leaders, Michael Tubbs is a former Fort Campbell soldier who went to prison in 1990 for stealing military weaponry that prosecutors said was intended to start a race war. And this video shows Gallatin businessman Richard Hamblin being punched by a counter protester in Charlottesville. Hamblin confirms a posting on the group's Facebook page that he's the league state chairman for Tennessee. We have the culture we have because it's Christian, not because it's white. David Jones is a secessionist who says he split from the league two years ago when Hill began to veer away from the group's original focus on Southern heritage. There's so much different things that are from the South that are really great, and that's what was being promoted, and then all of a sudden there was this drift. What was that drift that concerned you? It was a drift towards white supremacists. And sometimes you can tell the enemy because the skin he's wearing becomes his uniform. That's right. While League members like to portray themselves as victims in Charlottesville, among themselves, they talk about looking forward to war. In uniform, holding these wonderful, beautiful flags that represent everything about us, standing there steely-eyed, their chest out, saying, come and get us. Amen. So, Phil, after investigating this group, you think they really do want a confrontation when they come here. If you listen to them, which I have, they say they believe they are at war, that a confrontation somehow fulfills their destiny. And that's why law enforcement will be working so hard this week to keep the protesters and the counter protesters apart to keep them from getting that kind of victory. You can almost feel the nerves already around this community. Exactly. Phil, thank you.